Uh, 6 4 and 200 on a grand high school, Portland, Oregon, Wyoming Junior College, and he averages 17.7 a game for the Vikings. Had a career high of 20 against Riverside when he filled up the stat sheet that night as he had 10 rebounds, 4 assists, and steals, and 20 points for Portland State. So we are set to go from the Memorial Coliseum as you get to look at the Portland State Vikings right there huddled up and their first year head coach Barrett Fury. He's assisted by Chase Coburn. Cahill Fennell, also one of the assistant coaches for Portland State. Chris Skinkis and Chase Coburn on that staff. Jim Wallace is the athletic trainer. Ball set to go up. Edwards will go up in the middle. And now Ferris gets into place for Portland State. Gargington up for the tip, and it comes to Portland State. Strickland will come out of the back court. Strickland will take it into the front court. Mayhew comes off the top. Now they look deep post. They get it to Traylon Ferris on the near side. He comes to the middle with a left-hand jump hook that's good. Ferris gets the first bucket of the game, and the Vikings will jump into their 94 feet of pressure. Merrill will bring it close to the midcourt line. Still haven't broken the count, and now they do. Brown playing outside at 6-5. Vikings will pressure the basketball. He gives it up to Merrill. Merrill comes off the screen, gets down the lane, goes to the basket, puts up the shot as he sliced between two defenders. And it'll be Edwards picking up the foul. He was limited in his playing time with fouls at UC Riverside. Edwards had 14 points in the game, but played just 13 minutes. Free throw put up and good by Sam Merrill. Merrill had 19 points in the game at Gonzaga. He averages 10.8 a game. And he hits two free throws here to tie the game at two. So a pair of free throws makes it a 2-2 contest as the Vikings will come into the front court. Deep they get the ball to Edwards. Edwards will back his way down. Now go to the jump hook. He put it up high and couldn't finish it. And the rebound will come down on the weak side to Isby. Isby will bring it up to Merrill. Left-hander on the far wing, guarded by Kanda. Now he'll reverse the basketball out to Porter. Porter to Brown Jr. Brown Jr. around the horn, pull up 14-footer. High arch and good as he hit it from the left elbow. So Brown gives the Aggies their first lead up 4-2. Vikings into the front court, looking to get it to Edwards inside. Set the high screen for Kanda. He'll come off, pick up the dribble to Mayhew. Mayhew puts it down twice. Now to Ferris. Ferris rocks to the left hand jump hook, puts it up around and out, but he'll go to the free throw line and shoot a pair of free throws. So it'll be free throw time here for Traylon Ferris. Brown whistled for the foul. Ferris will miss the free throw. Trey is five out of nine from the line now on the season. Trying to make it a one point game here. And he will net one of the two free throws. And the Vikings will get to within one. 18.39 to go. Vikings will keep the pressure up. Now they break it into the front court. Brendan Rummel's checked into the game for Portland State. Vikings will pressure out front. Kanda, way out away from the basket. Puts the pressure on Abel Porter. Porter trying to get the initiation pass to Merrill on the wing. Gets it to Merrill. Now they step out. They're going to play pick and roll. Merrill, a crafty left-hander. Backs up into the jump shot along the baseline. No good. Kanda up high for the rebound. Up to Strickland on the left side. Vikings running out of the backcourt. Kanda trailer long. Three is good. Right Kanda from 23 feet. Nets a three-pointer. And the Vikings jump into the lead at 6-4. to four. Here's a two-on-one. And they dunk it down with the two-hand flush that time. Dargington with the basket. And the Vikings will turn the basketball over with the Aggies and the Vikings tied at six here. Vikings will continue with the pressure. 
double team in the backcourt. Now they pick it up, they get it to Brown. Brown will get it to Merrill. Merrill now settles it in the front court. Dargington, far corner, they go with it. They look inside, they get the pass deep in the post to Brown. He twists inside for a reverse layup, and he's going to be called for a travel on the play. He has a good job defensively there. The Vikings will come out of the backcourt. Strickland will come up for Portland State. Holland set to check in. Here's Mayhew, open for three in front of the Aggie bench, and he nets the three-pointer. Michael Mayhew has a well set up play. The Vikings hit their second three, and they have their largest lead, up 9-6. Here comes the pressure on the basketball. Strickland does a nice job. Dargenton's going to have to bring it out front to Isby. Isby gets the high screen from Brown. The Vikings will switch there. Porter Jr. gets the ball in the post. Dargenton's going to back his way down on Rummel. Now step underneath and put it off the window, around and out. He got his own rebound and put it in. Actually, that was Brown who came from the weak side to get the rebound, and he makes it 9-8. Here's a long three ball that's put in good by Michael Mayhew. So Mayhew has hit two bombs. The Vikings have hit three from downtown, and they leave it 12-8. Portland State with the full court pressure. Merrill will get it in the front court. Darnington in the post, outside for the three. Going to miss it badly off the front rim. Strickland will run back the other way. Three on three break. Stop and go, pull up for three, back rim and off. He had it right on target. Here they come back the other way with Brown. Brown will race to the basket. Step through a defender, and he'll be called for an offensive foul. And one of the Aggies is down with an ankle there as Portland State continues to turn this pressure up. Vikings will go to their bench. Brandon Hollins will check into the game for Portland State. And also checking in for the Vikings will be Holland Woods, the freshman. Vikings up 12-8. Portland State with a barrage of bombs have hit three in a row from downtown. Deron Henson set to check in for the Aggies. Henson at 6'7 and 205, a redshirt freshman. Hollins will trigger the inbounds. He'll get it in to the freshman. Holland Woods who will bring it out of the backcourt, averaging 10 a game. The Vikings run a little weave out front. Mayhew fakes the long three, now steps, nice pass inside to Ferris, who dunks it with the left hand. That's what happens when you hit two threes. You spread the court and make the game much easier. 14-8, to eight, the Vikings lead it, and they're right back into the pressure. Now they'll put it to Henson. Henson, pump fake on the outside, up in the air. Merrill, a good shooter. Make him move the ball to Porter, and Canada does a good job of closing out on that. Merrill putting the ball up, goes right side, Porter, three ball in the air, looks good, but got the front rim, no good. Mayhew had it, tipped, and it'll be Portland State's basketball. And we'll get to a timeout, our first media timeout with 15.38 to go in the first half. Portland State hitting from downtown and leading the basketball game 14-8. We'll take a break on Big Sky TV presented by, or watch Big Sky presented by Pluto TV. And we get a look at the Viking bench down to our right. Portland State has come out shooting the basketball. Three for three from downtown, five of seven from the field. The Vikings hitting at 71%. And Portland State, five assists. Strickland already with three assists in the basketball game. Vikings will come with Jamie Orm, the 6'7", 200-pound transfer from Highline Community College. O'Day High School will be in at a wing for Portland State. Here's Mayhew in the front court. Orm between the rings has the ball, cutters along the baseline. Mayhew comes out to get it. Now drop it in the post to Hollins. Back up 16 footer, good from the baseline. Brandon Hollins averaging eight a game, gets his first hoop, and the Vikings have doubled up the Aggies at 16 to eight with 15 15 to go in the game. Porter will come into the front court, now to Hanson. Hanson will rotate the ball. Taylor is inside, the big fella. Now he comes outside for the three ball. It's going to be line drive off the rim, no good. Rebound comes down to Portland State. Mayhew in the middle. Left hand's a dribble. Pulls for three. Can't get it. Vikings trying to get to the rebound, and I think Orm is going to pick up a rebounding foul. So Mayhew with the heat check there. You get a chance to look at it on the replay. 
And the Vikings, a great offensive rebounding team. And you're going to pick up some fouls when you go for those offensive rebounds. The Vikings have 62 offensive rebounds on the year. Their opponents with 34. Here's a near steal by Mayhew, and they'll rush the ball into the front court. Miller will come across the line. Breetill dropped the ball into the post to Taylor. Taylor squares up to the basket. Now he'll couch his way down into a double team. Throw to the far corner for a three ball that's going to be off the back of the rim. No good. Vikings can't get to the rebound. Breetill pass inside. Up at the basket, the Vikings are going to foul as Portland State did not get to the defensive rebound. And Henson, Traylon Ferris will pick up his first foul. And it'll be free throw time for the Aggies. Henson will go to the free throw line. He'll shoot a pair. Henson had three points in the game at Gonzaga. He'll miss <laughs> after four bounces. He'll miss the first free throw. Edwards will check in for Ferris. Trailing with five points in the game, doing a nice job for Portland State. Working through that ankle injury. Second free throw here. Vikings up 16 to 8. 14 34 to go. This one rattles in. So the Viking lead is 16 to 9. Kanda with the ball, left hands it, and a foul is going to be called on the post. As Miller was trying to get in front of Orm, I think he'll pick up the foul. Brock Miller. And you get a chance to look at it on the replay here. Orm trying to set up shop in the low block. He'll get the ball out front. Now he'll go hard drive, get by his man to the basket. He left it short. Edwards trying to muscle it up. They'll call a late foul as he got the offensive rebound. And Orm just blew by his defender down the lane but couldn't finish. Miller will be called for the foul. And it'll be Ryan Edwards will go up to the free throw line, look for his first point of the night. 7 1 and 290. Got a good touch, and he showed it there as he gets his first point of the evening. And the Vikings lead it 17 to 9. 14 19 to go. Oh, you got to talk, Hollow. Second one by Edwards. In and out, no good. Orm way up for the offensive rebound. Spins back to the window and lays it in nicely. So Orm, a great offensive rebounder, gives the Vikings the lead at 19-9, the first double-digit lead for Portland State with 14.05 to go. Into the front court, Brito will have the basketball. He'll give it off to Miller. Miller, now to Merrill. Stop and go dribble. Miller out front, good look at a three straight away, and he nets it. Brock Miller makes the score 19 to 12. The Vikings get it into the front court. Guard to guard, the pass will go to Kanda. Kanda will now get it to the freshman. Woods comes off the high screen, now accelerates down the lane, gets bumped, hangs in the air, and they call him for a traveling violation. Wow, looked like he got bumped, which might have led to the travel. Tommy Nunez, Jr., on the whistle here. Chad Shepard, Ryan Holmes, our official. Vikings up 19 to 12 as Portland State has hit three three-pointers. Here comes Miller. Miller trying to bust it in. Orm will catch up with him and make him kick it out. Brito, head and shoulder fake, goes to Miller in the corner, trying to make it two in a row. Missed it off the side of the rim, no good. Edwards had it, but it came loose to Kanda. Kanda will left-hand it out of the backcourt. Now he'll come to the top, pull again, and miss it off the front rim. Orm flying through for an offensive rebound. Will pick up his second foul, I do believe. But very aggressive on the offensive boards. Trey! Trey! Get Ryan! Hurry up! Jamie knows, coming off the bench. Minutes are going to be limited somewhat, so he's going to take advantage of it, be very aggressive on the offensive boards, which he has been. Vikings will continue the pressure, up 19 to 12. Miller with the ball. Now they'll throw ahead. Two on one, Ferris is deep. Muscle move to the basket, Brito gets the layup. As they let him get it angled to the hoop. And they've scored five straight to cut the 10 point lead in half, 19 to 14. Hand off to Kanda. Kanda will roll it around. Now come off the screen from Ferris. 
use the high screen. They hedge out on it, gets the ball back to Ferris. Ferris bangs his way inside, and it'll be called for an offensive foul. Traylon Ferris will pick up the foul. Edwards will check back in for Portland State. And you're also going to see Michael Mayhew back in. So it appears that Deontay North's ankle is serious enough that he probably won't go here tonight. He's averaging 16 a game, the Vikings' second leading scorer. But Portland State showing their depth in this one. Vikings will continue with the pressure. Brandon Hollins on the basketball. There's a tip and a near steal by Portland State, but they can't dig it out. They'll get the ball into the front court, and slow things down to Merrill. Brito with the basketball. Brito will get it to the high post to Taylor. Taylor to Merrill. Merrill comes off, goes back inside to Brown. Junior Edwards blocks the shot, but flying in is Taylor to tip it in off the window and make it 19 to 16. So they've scored seven straight to cut a 10 point lead to three. 12 17 to go. Woods crosses, gets the ball inside to Hollins. It's deflected out of bounds. Portland State will retain possession with 12 14 to go in the first half. Brandon Hollins will check out of the game, so the Vikings will go small here. And they'll play both point guards. And that'll mean Bryce Kanda will be playing at a four position. Utah State has switched to a 2-3 zone defense. So the Vikings are going to have to adjust to this. Let's see if it is a zone or just a sagging man. Here's Strickland all the way into the teeth of the zone. He lofts one up but can't get it down. And here they come trying to add to their 7-0 run. Out front, they'll go to Merrill. Merrill will come off the screen, slip the pass inside. Strickland got his hand in there and deflected it away from Taylor. Kanda to Strickland. Strickland, far corner. The freshman lofts it up and swishes it from the corner. Woods nets the three-pointer, assists Strickland, and the Vikings restore some order. Up by six, 22 to 16. 11.31 to go in the first half. Vikings trying to take them out of their offensive sets with pressure. Mayhew battling at the top. Taylor the trailer. Strickland comes to help, but that leaves the three-pointer open and the shooter no good. Missed by Merrill. Here comes Strickland weaving out of the backcourt. Far wing goes to Canada. Rise up for three. Front rim and off. Bryce wanted that one. And the Vikings will continue the pressure. 22 to 16. 11.06 to go in the half. Utah State trying to regain some order will slow things down. Hollins will check back in the game for Portland State. Here's the high screen. Taylor sets it. Merrill comes off it to Brown Jr. Brito wide open for three. Going to miss it off the side of the rim. And Kanda will climb the ladder and bring it out to Woods. Woods will come out of the backcourt for Portland State. Now he'll back out the dribble. Use the high screen and roll. Come off it down the lane. Far corner to Kanda. Reverse it out. Michael Mayhew from 29 in the hopper and out. It wouldn't stay. The Vikings would have regained a nine-point lead, but they couldn't convert it. 22 to 16 as we're getting ready to approach the halfway mark here in the first half. Portland State defensively, we're going to get a foul on Mayhew, I think trying to guard his man coming off the screen. We'll get a break in the action here on Watch Big Sky presented by Pluto TV. Vikings with the lead, 22 to 16, 10-18 to go in the half. Portland State up 22 to 16. The Vikings are shooting 50% from the field, from the three-point line, and from the free throw line. You'll take the first two, not so happy about the third one, but the Vikings have really struggled from the free throw line on the year, shooting it at just 51%. Utah State, six out of 16, 37%. One for eight from three-point range. And the Aggies will go to their bench and bring in Crew Ainge, Danny's son. And he'll play at the point guard position against Strickland. Ainge 5'11 and 180, a freshman. Diogo Brito will trigger the inbounds on the far side to get a good look at him. It comes into Ainge. Ainge working against Strickland. They'll play high screen and roll. He comes off it. Hollins does a good job of shadowing. Big mismatch inside. Hollins blocks the shot out of there. 
Darlington and the Vikings will race Strickland in the middle, but he didn't see the defender. He poke checked it from behind. And now Mayhew does the same thing back the other way. Somebody's got to give up the basketball. They do to Kanda for three. Oh, back rim, no good. Hollins a flying offensive rebound in traffic off the window. He scores it. Hollins has four, and the Vikings lead it 24 to 16. Rito will come out of the backcourt. Stop and go dribble now, give it to Ainge. Crew with Strickland hounding him at the top, trying to get the entry pass. Kanda is out there defensively, doing a good job on Brown. Form set to check in. Brown stepped through. There's the old European move that looks like a travel. They don't call it. He got the offensive rebound and scored it. Dwayne Brown has six to lead his team. 24 to 18, Portland State leads it. Strickland will come off the top. Stop and go. Go with it to the freshman. Woods crosses it now. Strickland open three. Bingo! Strickland rings the bell from straight away as he gets his first three of the game. And the Vikings lead back to nine at 27 to 18. Vikings will continue with the pressure. Here's Ainge with the ball in front of the Viking bench. Now the penetration. He'll run over the top of Hollins. He'll get the offensive foul. And the Vikings will get the turnover and the basketball. Here you get a chance to look at it. And if you're going to play this defense, you've got to have the courage and the willingness to step in and take a charge. And that's exactly what happened. Vikings will get the basketball. 27 to 18, looking for their largest lead of the game. Portland State was up by 10 earlier. Here's the dribble handoff. Comes to the freshman, Holland Woods. Now to Mayhew. Mayhew stop and go dribble. And he'll be called for an offensive foul that time. Michael initiating the action with his left hand. And Portland State with his second foul will come out. Edwards will come in. So the Vikings will go from 6-2 to 7-1. Orm with the pressure all over the basketball. Now they get the ball to Miller. Miller will bring it back. Porter in the middle. Porter turns and squares up into a double team. Now the Vikings will switch. Orm will come out on the basketball. Merrill right in front of us. 8-18 to go in the half. 27-18, Portland State leads it. Dribble handoff will come to Brown. Brown will get the basketball. Now he'll turn the corner, race to the basket, and they're going to call a blocking foul. Wow. Orm thought he had it set up. He'll pick up his third personal foul, I do believe. Whoa. You'll be hard pressed to find a lot of movement there. And it'll be Brown Jr. at the free throw line. 33% free throw shooter on the year. He's been there only six times. 8.07 to go in the half. Free throw will be good. He's got seven points to lead the Aggies. D'Angelo Isby will check into the game for the Aggies. 27-19, Portland State leads it. Second free throw, good again. So the Aggies get to 20, and Brown gets to eight points. And we're at the eight-minute mark in the half. Woods on the far wing in front of the Aggie bench. Looks for cutters, nobody opens. He'll drop it mid-post to Edwards. Edwards throws a wild pass across the court that Porter picks off. Porter will race up in the air, kick back to Merrill for three. Side of the rim, no good. Candace got the rebound. Up the right side, go to Woods. Woods streaking with a left-hand dribble. Tries to split defenders. Has it stripped away. Porter will come back the other way. Three on two. Drop the pass out to Isby for three. He'll miss the shot. Brown with the offensive rebound inside. Pass is going to be deflected. Stolen away. Holland's in the middle. Want to get rid of it to Strickland, and he does. Strickland, crossover. Now quick pass to Kanda. Kanda, two-bounce dribble. All the way to the basket with a left-hander. Looked like he got hit. No foul was called, and he missed it off the rim. 7.15 to go. Racehorse basketball up and down. 
And a foul is going to be called on Holland Woods, the Viking freshman. Woods will pick up his first personal foul. We got a timeout, 7-11 to go in the first half. Vikings lead it 27 to 20. It's Watch Big Sky presented by Pluto TV. Portland State up 27 to 20. We get a chance to look at the Viking huddle there. Portland State stays with that 50% shooting across the board. Two points, three points, and free throw line. The Aggies have been held to seven out of 21. That's 33% and just one for 10 from three point range for the Aggies in this basketball game. Five of six from the line, Portland State just two of four. Utah State has out-rebounded Portland State 13 to 12 and five to three on the offensive board. Utah State, two assists and six turnovers. The Vikings with eight assists and seven turnovers. A couple blocks and three steals for PSU. Abel Porter will go up to the free throw line and he'll shoot a one and one. First toss, back rim, no good. Edwards, the mountain in the middle, has the rebound for Portland State. Come up to Strickland. Dribble handoff goes to Woods. He'll come off it. Holland now out front, calling for movement to Kanda. Kanda looks inside, not open there. They'll go the weave at the top. Strickland penetrates, stops up with the dribble. Now to Woods. Throw it mid post near side to Edwards. Edwards backs up into a 15 footer, and a foul is going to be called away from the basketball. Twenty-five. Brown will pick up the foul. Sixteen foul. His second, and Henson will check in for Utah State. There you get a chance to look at the Viking starting point guard, Deontay Strickland, junior out of Central Catholic. Now they'll go into a two-three zone. The Vikings will call Rover for their offense. Woods out front. Portland State now will get it deep post to Edwards. Edwards holding the ball, goes to Kanda in front of the Aggie bench. Now back inside. He's got to put it up, goes with the jump. Hook shot and left it off the front rim, no good. Porter's got the rebound and he traveled with the basketball. Utah State will say that he was knocked to the ground, but the Vikings will get possession. So they don't get an offensive rebound, but they all gather to the basketball. And the Vikings will get it up 27 to 20 with 6.27 to go in the half. Out front, he'll come to Kanda. He'll one hand the pass to Holland Woods. Woods will get it high post to Kanda. 18 footer straight away, in and out, back in the hopper again. Kanda, who hit one early, gets his second hoop, and the Vikings are back to a nine point lead at 29 to 20. Here's a steal by Woods in the backcourt. He's got it deep inside, off the window, just too aggressive. Tipped to the corner, though, as Holland's missed the shot. Now Woods back up into a 19-footer. It's good, it counts! And he is fouled! What a move by the freshman as he broke his ankles, hit the fadeaway, and he'll toe the stripe one time to try and make it an old-fashioned three-point play as the Vikings have their largest lead up by 11, looking to go up by 12. And Woods will go up to the free throw line, try and add to his total of five. He'll net the free throw. The freshman from Apollo High School in Phoenix, Arizona has six in the game. And the Vikings have their largest lead, up 32 to 20, with six minutes to go in the half. Portland State trying to go 4-0 before taking on the number one team in the land, the Duke Blue Devils. Vikings stay with the pressure in the backcourt. They just break the 10 second count. Now the dribble move, Vikings double team, they throw cross court to Taylor. Had a man open inside, running to the basket and trying to come over to draw the charge with Woods. He'll be called for the blocking foul. And you get a chance to look at it here. That was double duty for the youngster. He came from the weak side and first had to cover up the lob pass. Then after that, he had to come inside and try and draw the charge. A lot to ask for a weak side defender. And it'll be two free throws for Taylor. Taylor with two points on the night. Will miss the first free throw off the back rim. So the Aggies are now five of seven from the free throw line. 
best he can do is split a pair and bring his team to within 11 with 5.48 to go. Second toss, back rim no good. Candid tried to get to it, but Strickland came out with it. He'll race four on four. Angle left across the top, drop back to Woods. Woods will use the high screen to roll. Now start the drive, come along the baseline, kick it far corner, Strickland for three. Missed it off the front rim. Aggies will run. Merrill picked up by Woods. Woods got to be careful of the foul here as he comes off the screen and he'll be called for the foul. Woods will pick up his third personal. As you could see, a little bit of a hip check there by Quinn Taylor, and that's what Woods is going to argue about. Free throw is good. Mayhew will check in for Portland State. Merrill has all of his points from the line where he's three for three. Vikings by 11. Merrill, this one will rim out, no good. And Hollins is up for the rebound. Vikings will come back the other way. Strickland out front. Aggies have gone back to man. Run the weave. Mayhew will get across the top. Now to Kanda. Switching everything there. Kanda starts the drive, goes to Strickland. Strickland stop and go. Out front. Crosses it over. Kick back to Kanda. Three from the far wing. High arch front rim, no good. And I think Mayhew is going to get a foul over the top. Well, they're going to call it grabbing the jersey foul on number three, Merrill. That'll be a second. And Edwards will check in for Portland State. But before he does that, Michael Mayhew will go up to the free throw line. Michael has six in the game, getting the start here tonight. The Vikings playing without their second leading scorer. Deontay North also playing without their leading scorer from last year, Braxton Tucker. Mayhew will net the free throw. He's got seven. So Michael coming off a career high of 13 at Riverside. We'll try and get to eight here as the Viking lead is 33 to 21. Vikings will go to their bench. And Devin Wilson will get a chance to go. Second free throw is good by Mayhew. So Mayhew with those two fouls will check out. The coach will try and protect him. And the Vikings will go into a 2-2-1 three-quarter court pressure. So a little different look. There's near steal on the play and a foul is going to be called on Devin Wilson. Oh, he was just an eyelash from getting that ball. And it'll be free throw time coming back as you get a chance to look at it here. And the mistake he made there on the 2-2-1 two -two press, don't want to go for the steal as much on that one until they get across the midcourt line. Free throw is going to be spun up and short by Abel Porter. So he is one for three from the line. Aggies down 34 to 21. 4.52 to go in the half. Second free throw, perfect. 34-22. Vikings will come out of the backcourt. Holland's hard dribble hand off to Kanda. Kanda will look at the cutters on the baseline. Go to Strickland. Now high post, Edwards comes out way away from the basket. Spins inside with a shot, and they're going to call him for a travel from the far side. So maybe trying to do a little too much was the big fella that time. 4.39 to go in the half. If we look at it here. Yeah, an extra step there. But if they let you make that Euro move, they should let that one go too. Here's a two-on-one, rare out of the press. Race to the basket, scoop it up with the left hand, no good, but Stahl has come off the bench at 6'10", is there to clean it up. So the Vikings rarely giving up an easy one out of the press due that time. Here's Wilson. The left-hander gets to the lane. Nice pass to Edwards. Edwards, a short jump hook, and he missed the little bunny from inside on a great assist. Now the Vikings have to drop back. Wilson's got to stop the basketball. Porter Jr. throws way cross-court. 
Now along the baseline, they kick it out to Porter. Porter will kick it back for an open three. Line drive it off the front rim, no good. Strickland will race in the middle. Beats one man on the left-hand dribble. Now the hard pass to Kanda at the basket, and it sticks between the basket and the rim. It'll be a jump ball and Utah State basketball. We'll get a timeout. 3.54 to go in the half. The Vikings have led it by as many as 13. They lead it by 10 as we take a break on Watch Big Sky, presented by Pluto TV. Vikings up 34 to 24 as we play with 3.54 to go in the half. Portland State, 5 out of 12 from beyond the arc. That's 15 points. And you've got the Aggies shooting 1 of 11 from three-point range, your big difference in the basketball game. But the Aggies will trigger the inbounds. The Vikings in some foul trouble here and playing without Deontay North. Going to need to get Devin Wilson to help out here. 2-2-1 two, two, press, near travel on the play. Now the double team, they'll settle it out to Merrill. Merrill will pick it up. He'll be played on the outside. Nearly slipped and fell. Now he'll come off the hard screen. Across the top, Brito. Brito will get a step. Now to the basket, spin it up, round and in. Nice move that time. His second basket of the game. And he makes it 34 to 26, Vikings by eight. Deep in the post, so go to Edwards. Edwards 0 for three, not anymore as he hits the left hand jump hook from the middle of the paint. Edwards gets his first basket, he's got four. And the Vikings are back to a 10 point lead, up 36-26, 3.09 to go. Vikings continue with the pressure. And a 10 second count, something that you just hope for as a defender. Out of that press, getting a 10 second count is like gold for your defense. All the work that you put in, all the pressure, and the Vikings get one there. That'll be the 10th turnover in the game for Utah State. Vikings up 36-26, 3.05 to go in the half. Strickland on the far wing. Lobs it deep to Edwards, mid post, far side. Now the double team comes. He just whips a left-hand pass that fortunately got to a Viking. 17 on the clock. Vikings need a screen for Strickland. They don't get one. He goes to the lane. A little pop jumper is good as he created separation with the quick stop and pop. And the Vikings lead it 38-26. They're up by a dozen with 2.37 to go in the half. Stahl will get the basketball. Brito will come out of the backcourt. He'll be picked up by Hollins. Hollins looked like he might have got a piece of hand. Continues in the double team. Throw it across to Merrill. Merrill will get the high screen to his right. Stop and go move. Come off it. Now slice down the lane. Ball stripped away. Strickland throws it ahead of the pack to Mayhew. Mayhew left wing. Pass inside. Comes right back to him. Now to Strickland. Strickland will get the high screen. He'll come off it. Stop and go move down the lane. Holland's going to pop a long jumper. Perfect from the far wing. Three-pointer. Hollins has seven as he nets the three. He hit a big one against the University of Portland. Here's Merrill racing to the basket. Right-hander no good. Hollins has got the rebound. Vikings up 41-26, enjoying their largest lead. Kanda in a spread court. Now to Hollins. Seven off the bench. We'll get it to Strickland. 145 to go in the half. Now 144. Strickland, stop and go. Now to Mayhew. Get the high screen from Edwards. Come off it. They want him to get rid of the ball. He does to Kanda. Kanda, nice pass inside to Edwards. And they got caught on his arm as he caught the defender on the high side. The pass led him to the low side, right to the bucket. And the big fellow will go to the line. Excellent pass by Bryce Kanda, reading the defense and threading the needle there. Edwards will go to the free throw line and shoot two. Free throw is good. Edwards come alive in this one. Up to five points and trying to make it six and add to the Vikings largest lead of the game. Up 42-26. Beautiful touch as he threads the needle, and the Vikings lead it 43-26 with 1.32 to go in the half. 
Mayhew will come out, and they'll protect him with a foul situation. He has a pair. The Vikings go 2-2-1. A little more conservative. Get it into Merrill. Merrill will get it to Brito. 1.30 to go in the half. Vikings up by 17. Brito will get around the corner, and that'll be a foul on Devin Wilson. And he's going to learn that once that dribbler gets a half a step on you, you can't keep sliding as we look here. you got to turn and run and try and get back in front of the offensive player. The Ogo Brito will go to the free throw line and shoot two. From Portugal. Nets the free throw. He's got five. And the Aggies have closed this one down to a 27-20 game with 7-11 to go. But the Vikings stretched it out to 43-26 to and now 27 for the Aggies. Back rim no good. Edwards has got the defensive rebound. 43-27, 121 to go in the half. Far wing they go to Mayhew. Mayhew will get it in the post to Edwards, the big fella. Going to go to that left hand, jump hook, and he deposits it in the window and good. So Edwards has eight, and the Vikings getting some inside scoring to go with the pressure defense and the three-point shooting. Largest lead up by 18. Brito will put it on the deck, get deep into the teeth, now go with it to Darlington, now to Merrill. They'll play catch with it. Back in the post, up high in the air, jumper from the baseline, front rim no good, canned up high for the rebound on the miss by Brown. Merrill will come up, make it Mayhew out of the backcourt. Stop and go, and they're going to call him for carrying the basketball. Vikings up. 45-27. Devin Wilson will check in for Portland State with 40 seconds to go in the half. Vikings with 45 on the board. Into the front court, they'll get the basketball. Dargington will get it. Now to Miller. Miller to Merrill. Out front. Merrill's going to square up against Strickland. Strickland right in his pocket. Gets the high screen, comes off it. Edwards there to help. Got a step to lane. Left-hander off the window is good. So they force the switch, and Merrill gets his first basket. 45-29. Vikings will play for the last shot of the half. Portland State has never trailed. Actually did trail 4-2 to in the game. Now Devin Wilson going to pump fake, put up a three, Strickland got to get rid of it. And it's an air ball. So we'll go to the halftime locker room with the Portland State Vikings trying to go 4-0, playing in the first game of the PK-80 Classic. The Vikings lead it here 45-29. It's a 16-point lead for Portland State. And the Vikings will go into the locker room. We'll take a break here as you are watching Big Sky presented by Pluto TV. And we're going to take a break. We'll come back and we'll give you the stats. Vikings up 45-29 right here on Watch Big Sky presented by Pluto TV.